Hey there, welcome back to High Infidelity, the best channel for cheating stories. Like and subscribe to the channel for more spicy stories. Now, let's get into today's story video. My ex-wife wants me to support her affair child because her boyfriend dumped her and is being difficult with child support. Advice? I apologize for the length of this, but I needed to rant. Long story short, I married my ex-wife when we were young. We were together for 10 years, married for 6, and I found out she was cheating on me in 2014. One morning she came back from an appointment all happy and told me I was going to be a father for the third time, I had known for a couple months up until this point, and it made me sick getting intimate with her. We hadn't had in over 5 months, and she told me she was 10 weeks when I informed her I knew everything. She attempted to deny it, and when she told everyone the conception date, it was wobbly. She could never get it right. She didn't realize how careless she had become and felt that if I suspected her of cheating, I wouldn't probe. So I left her, and her family hated me for it, but once I sent them the images, only her brother and father apologized, and my ex-wife cut them both off after that. She begged me to return, but I refused, and within a month she had moved in with her affair partner, which I learned via our children. Our divorce was really painful, but I was finally free of her after a year. I concentrated my efforts on work and the kids, and everything appeared to be going swimmingly. I met my future wife. Three years after leaving my ex, she had been divorced in the previous year and had two daughters, five and one. I liked her and the children, and both my children. Enjoyed spending time with these girls as well. Eighteen months later we moved in together, and we were our own family unit. In August, I proposed to my fiancé, and she said yes leaving both of us overjoyed to finally be with someone who actually made us happy. The kids are aware and are likewise ecstatic. I had to inform my ex, and she had been courteous to my wife up until this point, but when she found out we were getting married, something changed. I still speak with her brother, and he informed me that she grew preoccupied with getting married, and brought it up multiple times with her boyfriend, causing him to leave her, and he became tough with paying child support for their kid. I offered to find her a lawyer who wasn't too expensive, and I knew a few so thought I could make her search easier for her. The thing is, I gave her the number of someone, but she said she wasn't sure she wanted to cause more drama, and I told her that her ex still had priorities to stick to and he shouldn't walk away and do the right thing. A few days later, she contacted me and asked if I would be willing to give her more money each month for her child. I told her that he wasn't my child, and I gave her enough money for the other kids anyhow. She made it a point that I paid for things for my fiancé's kids all the time and how strange it seemed that I would do that while also allowing them to call me dad. That was their choice, the youngest was. Still young and didn't understand she never met her bio dad, and the oldest just started calling me dad one day after watching her sister do it for months. The fact is that I sometimes paid for minor items for the daughters, but my boyfriend handled everything else. But my ex sees this as a tremendous issue and behaves as if I'm suddenly loaded with money, which I am. I haven't spoken to her since she said that to me, but I'm sure she'll bring it up this weekend when dropping off the kids. I don't want to go into legal trouble like I did with the divorce since it would leave me emotionally exhausted, and she doesn't grasp the word no either. Is it possible for me to accomplish this without always fighting or arguing with her? I would add that I am legally on the birth certificate, which I battled for when she wanted to put her down. She behaves as if no laws exist and will fight until one of us dies as a result of her nonsense. Story 2 Wife cheated no begging to come back. So, this is All very new. Wife of 5 years been together, 13 discovered her cheating first week of May. Found DM that painted the full picture still burns just thinking about it. She began chatting to this person around the beginning of March. And by the end of March, I began to notice a change. More social media selfies frequent visits to the same club slash bar, and this is where she met this guy. She would go with her pals, mom, and sisters, so I didn't think much of it at first, but when she began arranging going to this spot, which is not like her at all, I realized something was up. I'd check her phone at random, but it had a complicated password and all the red signs. Anyway, a week before I found her, I called her out on the schism between us, since I'm sure you've all seen how a cheater behaves, and she said she believes we should split up because we're too different, etc. blah blah. So I agree and tell her that if she wants to separate, she must go, and we agree that I would give her time to find a place to live since I have always been the provider. And we have an 11-year-old boy, so she has chosen not to work for a long time. After a week, I locate the DM and confront her through text. 
All she says is that she's coming to retrieve her things while I'm at work. So she moved in with her sister since she has no work and no money. We both agreed that no matter what, we would split the bill 50-50 with our kid. I found her on May 4th. There was no communication with her for the first two weeks. Her own sister and mother were arguing with her and trying to be a shoulder to rely on through the horror I was going through. I couldn't sleep or eat, and I operate my own business, so trying to keep it together has required every ounce of strength I had. Knowing she threw everything away for a man at the club makes me ill, as does knowing what she is putting our kid through for her own selfish ambitions. I have not been a great husband by any means, but I have always been a devoted provider for our family. To add salt to the wound, she begins posting falsehoods on social media, claiming that we have been separated for a long time, that we are going through a divorce, and that she has met someone else. But everyone who knows me is aware of the reality. I began the divorce process via mediation since, for the most part, we agree on practically everything, but I'm sure that will change. After a month of hell and no contact, me just avoiding knowing anything about her and her new life, I begin to pick myself up and look forward to the future, if only for a few moments at a time, until a week ago when she sent a half-apology text for the first time admitting she was wrong, I ignored it and planned on not responding to anything that didn't have to do with our son or divorce. A few more the next day stating she wanted to chat and apologized, then around 100 void messages and texts the next day asking me to forgive her and take her back, and how she was blinded and would do everything to make it right. Turns out she got a DUI a few nights ago, and I suppose without me to hold her hand, her world is now collapsing around her. I've always believed in karma and that it will eventually come up with her, but I didn't expect it to happen so quickly. And for a brief moment, I felt a small victory for once after the month I had just gone through, but that quickly faded, and the past week and the small progress I had made has started all over again. I'm staying strong, but there is that little devil in the back of my mind, tempting me to see if she is willing to change, but trust me, I know it's just a desperate attempt by her. This is still going on. She continues promising to show me that she can be a better person, but I was better off when she was just enjoying her new best life. Sorry for the book, and a horribly written one at that. There are so many more details that make it even more messed up, but here is the gist of it. Thank you to everyone who reads. This Summit has been a safe haven for me where I don't feel alone. I just reviewed what I stated and wanted to add a few more things. When I discovered the DM, she had been sleeping with this person for at least three weeks before she requested for the separation, claiming she was going to the store or her sister's place when she was going to meet him. I'd take my kid to practice and go to the gym after work, and she'd utilize that time to sneak around. And that's all I know since SC and Instagram were their primary modes of communication. So who knows how many other times she lied using SC messages that were deleted. And also, when we first discussed separation slash divorce, she said she didn't want anything house act just 5050 with our son. But the day before I found the DMS, I reiterated the fact that we cannot live together and be separated via text. And she blew up and told me that this was her home and she would not leave. And legally, if anyone needed to leave, it was me. Long, well, I'm guessing she saw something on Instagram. Thank goodness I discovered her old phone the following day and was able to connect onto her social media since she has the same password for everything. I can't fathom the misery she would have put me through if I didn't have actual proof. I just wanted to thank everyone for all of your encouraging comments and excellent advice. I was astounded by how many people took the time to read and comment. I will definitely provide updates and attempt to respond to everyone.